Okay, this is the last video of my manga scan slash line art editing tutorial. And I know some people say it's supposed to be pronounced manga, but I'm not Japanese at all. I don't plan to pretend I am, so I don't mind pronouncing things bad. <laughs> um, okay. This, I have all the layers, color layers on top of the, the scan set to linear burn, so I'm just going to make the scan invisible and merge visible all the color layers. Put that back on linear burn. Now you can just go to flatten image, oh, right there, and you're good to go if you like the way this looks now. Um, I did, that's how I saved it. But you can also make uh, copy the layer make the top one invisible. That one you're going to keep on linear burn. This one under it we're going to set to lighten and you can see how it clings to the black. You can try lighten, um, screen, color, and you can see when I put it back uh, that's color, that one is screen, and that one is lighten how it um, colors the lines and that can make a really big difference in how the picture looks but you can see like the hair is really really bright and that will happen if you just copy the layer so what I like to do is go to image adjustments hue saturation and hike up the saturation a bit and then hike down lightness so it's still very saturated and not dull, but it is darker. And I just slide that around. You can see how it looks without the line on it. You can't even see her blush. <laughs> I didn't even realize what that on. But um, that's one way you can do it. I'm just going to get rid of that. Another way you can do it is make a layer under the... A linear burn colored layer. You can probably do this over it if you're pretty really careful. Once you know, do it to an old scan you save, but try to get it before um, you flatten everything. Just sample whatever color you're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing the skin real quick. I'm gonna set this to lighten. I prefer lighten. Um, I really don't know why. Just make the um, the color more saturated, so more towards the top right hand corner, and then down a bit so it's darker. You don't want gray, you just want a darker color. I'm just going to go over a couple of the skin lines. You can see the difference that this makes. You can always use hue saturation to adjust it later. I know that's your eyebrow, but I'm just coloring it in for the sake of coloring it. And if you do lighten or screen, you can just go right over the edge onto the white. If that's what your background is, I would suggest just using white for now. That way you can be a little more messy. Obviously, for a line like that, you might want to use the polygonal lasso. Select it and fill it. And you can see on her, compared to him, the difference that it makes. Okay, another thing. You can do that with color, too. Any setting. Those are just a couple ways to do it. And one more thing that can really help a picture is completely flatten it, duplicate it, and then filter, blur, the G blur that I can still not properly pronounce for the life of me, and mess around with it. I'm going to do about 2.5. 
now nah, 2.3 looks better and you can either just like lower the opacity of this so it just gives a slightly softer look or leave it on full opacity and set it to um, any any of these actually I would stress using the more obvious ones like linear dodge add color dodge um, color burn linear burn multiply darken you know um, I would suggest blurring at first if you're gonna do these because it gives a softer look soft light overlay lower the opacity a bit and that's how you can, another way you can get a more professional look because you don't see a whole lot of really, really um, hard edge photos. Not photos, drawings. You can see before and after. Helps just a little bit. And then obviously merge visible. And that's how I finish up the scans. After that I just add text and whatnot.